the Palestinians of occupied Jerusalem are living hard times these days between the Israeli occupation, regular practices of arrest, home demolition, and land grab and the spread of coronavirus pandemic, which Israeli occupation government does too little to curb in the occupied city. When the number of coronavirus spiked among the Palestinians of occupied Jerusalem, with no attempt by the Israeli occupation government to protect the citizens who live under its occupation, the Palestinian government tried to give hand to its people in the occupied city. Israel was quick to fail the Palestinians' medical intervention and started a campaign against the Palestinian COVID-19 committee in the city. It prohibited their movement, arrested the Palestinian minister of Jerusalem affairs and the governor of Jerusalem in a clear message that the Palestinians can't have a role in fighting the universal pandemic in the occupied city, which is close to the hearts of all peoples of the three divine faiths. The Palestinians, who are the native citizens of Jerusalem, are living in a cage today, facing all forms of oppression by Israel to leave their holy city, which has always been a cradle for love and tolerance. It is surrounded by a high wall that has no like in the world. It is fully isolated from Palestine and the world. When you enter the city, which you get charmed by its beauty, history, culture, old markets and religious landmarks, as well as hospitable people, you feel hope and love for life, but you will see what saddens you. You see the Israeli checkpoints, the military forces harassing the people, and the electronic gates aimed to insult people. You shall also see families praying for their loved ones who got infected with COVID-19 to recover. Those who are left alone to face their fate have hoped that the world will tell Israel to stop its war against the Palestinians the time the world comes together to fight the virus. <laughs>